Namaste friends and welcome back. What is the truth about PG in Germany? Is there really no entrance exam? We are going to learn how to get a post-graduation in Germany, which subjects you can choose from as an international doctor and how much can you expect to earn. I will also share my personal experiences of coming to Germany after having done my MBBS outside of Germany. So if that's something that interests you, keep watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's learn. In Germany, currently there are 4 lakh or 400,000 who have completed their post-graduation training and are known as a Fachart. Only those doctors who have successfully completed their multi-year postgraduate training and have given the postgraduate exam are allowed to use this title. Completing your postgraduate training is not just a prestigious achievement, it is also a necessary one. For example, you want to be a liver transplant surgeon, then you need to have completed a specialization in transplant surgery or have to be a postgraduate in a surgical program, without which you will not have the permission to operate on that part of the body. That part remains the same whether you're in India, the US or in Germany. Remember, you're coming to Germany, which means speaking and understanding German is mandatory. That means you will have to learn German language up to the B2 level before you can even begin anything. After completing your medical studies, completing the mandatory 12-month internship, and having registered yourself with a medical council, your journey towards a postgraduate in Germany can begin. If you studied outside of the EU like I did, chances are there will be major differences in your MBBS education compared to the MBBS that is done in Germany. These differences can then be bridged by giving a Kettnisprüfung or KP and a Fachsprachprüfung or FSP. These are also known as the knowledge exam and the technical language exam. But why should we listen to you Rohit? Who are you? Me? I'm a humble doctor who did his MBBS from India, learned German till C1, applied for hospitations to Germany, came here in Germany in 2017, during my hospitations, gave interviews, got a job in a surgical department in the university clinic hospital in Hamburg, started my job during that job, gave my qualifying exams and eventually got my approbation. So I have done all that I'm talking about. I have done this process that you want to do to come to Germany. Who better than me to guide you and help you on this foreign land? So what is the Kentnisprüfung or the knowledge exam? Well, it is an exam just like your final year medicine and surgery practical exams were, wherein you received your case, you took a history, then you examined the case, then you presented the case to the examiner, and then you were questioned about your knowledge. If your MBBS was not completed in the German language, you will also have to prove your knowledge of medical German. This demonstration is done by giving another exam called the technical language exam or the Fachsprachprüfung. This exam will test your ability to understand and communicate with other colleagues, nurses, or patients in a German hospital in German. But then there are exams to give, right? But you said there are no entrance exams. And you're correct. These two exams called the Kentnisprüfung and Fachsprachprüfung or the knowledge exam and the technical medical language exam, they're not entrance examinations. They're examinations which check your knowledge. These are practical exams which are designed to test only you. Meaning the exam that you take might, well, might very well be very different from the exam that I had to give. And the, I, I can remember the examiners were super nice when they were asking me questions. They felt almost encouraging. And even if I was stuck at a question or needed some more time, they were patient. They were patiently waiting. And nine times out of 10, I did remember the answer. I gave it and then they were ecstatic with me. And then we went to the next question. Eventually, the, the, the behavior of the examiners was very friendly and welcoming, which really helped. I didn't get the feeling that they didn't want me here or they didn't want me to pass. To the contrary, I felt that they were encouraging enough that they wanted me to pass. And believe me, the situation here in Germany is such where they will want you to pass. There are very less doctors and very few people ready to learn German and come here because of its difficulty. So if you take up the challenge, you do the hard work and then you come here, it'll be easy for you to clear the exams, believe me. However, these are not entrance exams, like I said, because the result only comes in a pass or a fail. Meaning if you pass both these exams, you're given the permanent medical registration or the approbation. Meaning now you're allowed to apply for any job in any part of Germany, in any hospital, in any department. And your qualifications are now 
equal to a doctor who passed their education and MBBS in Germany. You're not competing with anybody. The only competition that you have is you. Oh, wait, getting value from this content? Consider hitting the like button. And if you need help and support in your journey on post-graduation in Germany, then consider checking out my channel where I upload videos in easy to understand formats every week and you can get immense value just by watching them. I also have a Facebook channel that you can consider subscribing to. There are already 700 people and they're growing every day. So you know people are interested. Okay, let's get back to the fun part. As an international doctor trying to get a post-graduation in Germany, you will have an access to all subjects, meaning there are almost more than 40 subjects you can choose from to do your post-graduation in. Their duration is dependent on which subject you choose. So for example, there are four year-long postgraduate programs for subjects like anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Five year long postgraduate exams are for subjects like radiology, dermatology, ENT, ophthalmology. Um, did I say radiology? And the six year long programs are reserved for the, the surgical programs. Meaning um, you want to be a cardiac surgeon, plastic surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, emergency surgeon. You want to go in cardiology, neurology, rheumatology. They are, they are all six year long postgraduate program. But you are not limited to any one. You can apply to any program of your choice in any hospital in Germany once you get an approbation. So basically you're getting an access to all the fields in world class hospitals with amazing education standards in Germany. All you have to do is learn German, get really good at that language, then apply to hospitations, get even better at speaking medical German, then give your qualifying exams and clear them. And once you do, the world is open for you. The entire postgraduate training is done in a clinical setting that is learning by doing. For the entire training process, a catalog is available listing the skills you have to learn by the end of your postgraduate training. This catalog is known as Weiterbildungskatalog. It is essential also for the postgraduate or the assistant arts to maintain a documentation booklet also known as a log book to track their progress and ensure certification of the already learned skills during their postgraduate training. All these steps ensure that you will receive a high quality training during your postgraduate education, regardless of where you apply and where you are and in which hospital you train in Germany. As you realize, the duration of the entire post-graduation depends on which subject you choose and if you choose to work full-time. And these factors will influence how much money you take home every month. Now I've made detailed videos about pre-tax and post-tax salaries, both of which are available in my YouTube channel. So check them out. I will also link them somewhere up here on the screen. But round about a ballpark figure, I would say it can range from anywhere in the first year, 4,850 euros a month, all the way to the sixth year, around about 6,340 euros a month. It's good money. The salary will also be determined by the size of the hospital, which hospital it is, and the total number of overtime hours that you clock in. That's correct. Every overtime hour is also paid separately. So you're doing no free work for anyone, which I think is pretty cool and fair. We didn't have that in India. We were asked to work 24 hours and we were still being paid a fixed salary. But here, if you work 24 hours, you're paid for every single extra hour you work, which I think is wonderful. That's it. Now you know the answer to the question, if there's an entrance exam to get to Germany or no. And the answer is no. There is no entrance exam to start a post-graduation in Germany. Great. Glad we could clear this out. You also learned some other essentials during the entire video. How much money you can expect to earn, how long the post-graduation can be, and which subjects you're eligible for to apply for a post-graduation in. You've also learned what are the basic requirements including learning a language up to B2 before you can even begin the journey and the process of application for a post-graduation in Germany. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment and I will get back to you. This is me signing off. Alles Gute.